Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, normally I don't say what month it is, but this is December and we're approaching Christmas and Hanukkah. And so I thought it'd be a good time to talk about gifts. You know, a lot of gift giving happens this time of year. But this time I want to talk about something a little different than maybe what you've been thinking about. Because I want the idea to be the gift of being yourself. Now, I mentioned that, and I use that title because of this book by Dr. David Benner, a psychologist, called The Gift of Being Yourself, that I've read more than five times, and many times I read it two or three pages every day and go over and over it because the gift of being yourself is so important. It's really about believing yourself, the good, the bad, the ugly, accepting yourself, but also, and this is kind of a word of faith, because uh, I don't talk about that a lot, but it's a very important. And that is that God loves you unconditionally. Even though we've stepped over the bounds many times, he still loves us unconditionally. And that unconditional love is what we need to receive and give to others. And especially this time of year is a good time to start working on that and practice it more. Well, as I thought about the gift of being yourself, it reminds me that we quite often don't reflect on the true self. We kind of cover up because we want to appear very sharp and good to other people and good leaders and smart and all that. But you know, in the POW camps, we had some time to go back and reflect on the bad side of ourselves as well as the good side because we were locked up suffering away from home five, six, seven, eight years. And we had to deal with things and we had plenty of time to do it. There were not many distractions during the day, except they pulled you out for interrogation or torture. So we had time to pray. We had time to reflect on our lives and who we were and what were our talents. And as we got to live with others, we saw different talents, even though they might be an air crew or a fighter pilot like we were. We saw they had very different talents in many ways. And yet we saw that we had not been truly authentic. And as every day went by, I was there 1,955 days. As those days went by, you had to deal with the real you and go back and replay that. And so that was very helpful because we did become more authentic. We did begin to believe in ourselves more and others believed in us. And that was really important in helping that happen. One of our guys, uh, in his stories in our new book, Captured by Love, Inspired True Romance Stories from Vietnam POWs, Ralph Gaither was a POW seven and a half years. He was a Navy fighter pilot flying the F-4, which I was flying also, but in the Air Force. But Ralph was there seven and a half years, and he had been tortured, and he was in a cell by himself, and it was Christmas time was coming. He kept praying and praying that he could imagine and see a Christmas tree. That was pretty important to him. And one day he was walking through the yard and he saw a green leaf in the prison yard. It was a dirt yard there. And he, he knew he couldn't lean over and pick it up. He would, they would hit him. The guard would hit him because we weren't supposed to lean, up, lean over and pick up things in the yard. He picked it up between his toes. He was barefooted and he picked it up between his toes and kept walking across the yard and took it to his room, his cell. And there... He started looking at that green leaf and it just totally changed his life. He, it meant so much to him. He started crying and then he started filled, being filled with joy that God had given this Christmas tree to him. And that story is in his book, in our book. You know, in that situation, we all had time to reflect about who we were and come to recognize how we had to be ourselves. So, I want to share just four ways that you can think about that today. First of all, I want you to stop and meditate, reflect on your life and who you are, who you really are, and be proud of your identity, your uniqueness. God has made you that way for a purpose, and you got to believe that. You're authentic. And then start to identify your talents and your passion and your interests and move toward that as the doors open. I can tell you many stories about how that's worked for me. And then be grateful for the gifts that you've been given 
at the same time accept your shortcomings and deal with that so you can grow. You want to grow, continue to grow. I have just had a new birthday and I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I'm getting to be a senior citizen, but I'm still coaching myself every day to grow. Thirdly, look for doors to open that will fill your unique talents, your passion, your mission in life. Look for those doors that are unique for you, not for other people. And then help others to believe in themselves and to see themselves uh, objectively and honestly that you see them that way. You're going to see some of the good, the bad, and the ugly about them, but you still care about them. They're important. They're valuable. And when you do that and let them know that, that gives them the confidence to do more of that on themselves and to continue to grow. They see you being vulnerable and growing. They want to be vulnerable and grow too. So that's a great way to be an example at home and at work. I hope you uh, will think about this. Please check out David Venner's book, uh, uh, The Gift of Being Yourself. Also, be sure and check out our books. And we have Leading with Honor, which is still going well today. Leading with Honor and Captured by Love. Both of those books we're selling at Christmas this year as a combo. You get a discount if you buy those two together. Go to our website, leadingwithhonor.com, and check it out. Well, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. God bless you all. Thank you.